All right, YouTube, today we're gonna be doing some car stuff. I'm gonna have to go down to the parking garage. I really, really, really hate working in the parking garage. It's dark, I'd rather be outside, but here in Coronado, you can't really work on the car outside. The cops will, you'll get in trouble for it. So we're gonna go down to the parking garage right now and uh, start doing the EVAP canister on my car. We're gonna check out why the check engine light keeps coming on on the Volkswagen. So uh, here we go. All right, here we go. We got the cover on it because we got all the salt water here. So we're going to have to jack the car up off the ground, at least in the rear end so I can fit underneath there. I'm going to go ahead and open this door so we get some light. Alright, I got to get the jack because the first thing we're going to do is, like I said, we got to get the car off the ground and then uh, I'll come from there. Yeah, it's kind of kind of a mess in here. We're getting ready to move and everything. All right. All right, now we're under the car. You can see the three nuts I gotta take off to get to the, uh, to the canister. So we'll go ahead and do that. Well, there it is, in all of its horrible glory. I bet you that thing's filled with gasoline, probably full. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and cut the clamps and take it off, and then we'll go from there. Oh boy. As you can see, I cut the clamps, and uh, there was three. There was one on top, which I just cut at the bottom, and then there's two here. And then one over here goes to right here, and then two here. And uh, surprisingly, there's no gas in here. It's empty. Can't get anything out of it. So I guess I haven't been overfilling it. Um, a couple little spider webs. I'm not really sure what that is. But uh, I'm gonna keep going at this. I think I'm gonna go ahead and check all the lines. And then I'm gonna have to make a smoke tester. So that'll probably be in the next video. But I'm gonna go ahead and clean stuff up, bolt it back together. All right. We got it all back together. There's really nothing interesting to show there. So now we're gonna go ahead and take it off the jack. And I think that's gonna be the video for today. I'll definitely have some better videos. I'm kinda just trying this out right now. And uh, we'll see if we wanna put some more effort into it because uh, I'm not doing it for money or anything. I'm just doing this to, you know, just kinda film and have a little side project. So uh, thanks for watching. So what do we find out in conclusion? The canister pump, or the can, the uh, charcoal canister, not the pump, the charcoal canister for the gas tank is not the problem. Um, I get a gas cap light. I've already, I got a brand new gas cap factory. I got a brand new purge valve factory. And I'm just going to have to do the smoke test. I had emissions, but I just cleared it with like a $5 uh, ODB2 scanner. And it passed the emissions, so I was like, you know what, I'll just get to it when I want to fix it. I mean, the emission systems on turbos cars suck in California. There's so many check valves and everything for crank crest. Crank, crank case pressure and uh, valve pressure up in the, the valve train. So there's so many check valves, so many elbow bends and pipes, so many metal pipes, so many plastic pipes. It's Volkswagen. And I mean, it's pretty much any car with a turbo in California. Secondary air pump system and EVAP systems definitely go bad after about five to six years with uh, plastic getting hard and cracking and leaking and stuff like that. Um, don't mess with it if you don't have to. I started with the purge valve. I ended up putting you know, $300 worth of plastic tubes and hoses, everything broke. 
all the way from the crankcase. So um, thanks for watching the video.